Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the sinusoidal response of LTI system. So generally, you know that LTI system is nothing but which is used in the control system. So how the sinusoidal response will get? So that means, so every system, you know that generally every system, generally every system which consisting of some transfer function, you know that yeah it has a some transfer function it will take is asking to find your sinusoidal response so it should take the sinusoidal input it will take sinusoidal input and we need to find out sinusoidal response means again we get again sinusoidal output so a system which is directly mentioned the LTA system no problem at all and sinusoidal input will be given and we will get the sinusoidal output so how it will act as means so for example we, we are giving some sinusoidal input that is uh, a sine omega t plus theta it is a sinusoidal input which will be given to the transfer function or a system then we will get the output is like this so whenever we are giving the sinusoidal automatically we will get the sinusoidal output only and with that we have again same phase will be available omega t plus theta and phi m we will get a some phi m and with that we will get a is the magnitude is there and we will get some factor m some factor m also we will get some factor m okay here by using this transfer function we will find out this m value and this phi m value okay so before that first we will look at what is a what is this m a is the magnitude a is the magnitude what is the magnitude it will represents the the vector so for example we, we have a sine theta so we need to write here so when we are discussing the problem you will understand what is theta phase it will represents the phase Yes, it will represent the phase. So what is M here? A is same thing. What is M here? You will get M is like this. So by doing the transfer function, replacing this omega with given omega. So given input omega. Now take input. In the input, we have some omega value. By using this omega, we will get substitute and phi m how we will get the phi m phi m is we will get like this by doing but we will find the phase phase of the transfer function by doing omega equal to omega input omega equal to omega input by doing these two things we will find out whenever sinusoidal input will be given to the transfer function we will get the output is like this form understand to find out the magnitude we are re we are finding the transfer function magnitude and substitute the frequency with input frequency and to find out the phase of the output we will find again the phase by replacing again frequency with the input frequency okay so to understand clearly we will analyze one problem here the problem is c by s out c c by r equal s plus 2 by s plus 1 that is means output by input that means is given laplace transfer laplace transfer laplace transform of output to input and he is asked to find out value of the cs that means output and he is given the input 10 into cos 2t plus 4 phi. So what do you know about that? Here simply 
we are giving some input signal input signal to the s plus 2 by s plus 1 we are getting some input signal to this transfer function we will get first output output may be in in the time domain or frequency domain depends on the situation right so but you know one thing that is if you are applying the input signal that input signal already he given input signal is 10 cos this is the input signal 10 cos 2t plus 4 5, 45 will give if we apply to the same transfer function that is s plus 2 by s plus 1 then we will get we have a some formula that formula is a into m here is this is the a so a m we need to find out the m value and we have cos 2t plus 45 cos 2t plus 45 plus phase we need to find out the phi m yes now we need to find out the magnitude as well as phase first how we will find out this m value then we will go for the phi m how we can find out the m value so m value is like this so we can find out the m value how we can find out the m value by finding the magnitude of the transfer function by substituting omega value input what is input here this omega is 2 substitute with the 2 yes so here input is like this generally s plus 2 so transfer function is this value s plus 2 by s plus 1 omega equal to 2 so what is this what, what we will get here by finding the magnitude of this value we have omega square plus 4 and for this value we have omega square plus 1 and we substitute omega equal to 2 then we will find out finally we will find out this value under root of 2 square that means 4 plus 4 here by 4 plus 1 finally we will get root 8 by 5 root 8 by 5 this is the m value so m value is we already find out but what we need to find out we need to find out phi m value what is the formula for the phi m phi or phase r phase m here phi m equal phase of j omega plus 2 by yeah, j omega plus 1 what is the formula for the phase here the formula for the phase is for this phase the formula is tan inverse of omega by 2 and this formula is tan inverse of omega by 1 and we have to substitute omega equal to 2 here then we will get by, by substituting this value we will get finally tan inverse of omega by 2 minus whenever it is in division the angles will be difference we will get we have to difference between those then omega equal to 2 we substitute these values we will get finally we will get tan inverse of 2 by 2 tan inverse of 2 by 2 minus tan inverse of 2 by 1 2 by 1 and tan inverse of 2 by 1 2 by 2 equal to tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of 2 so tan inverse of 1 we will get the 45 
minus we will get 63.43 so finally we will get the 5m value is minus 18.43 degrees okay so now we have to write the output is equal output signal we can write 10 into m already we find that 8 by 5 root of cos of 2t plus 45 minus 18.43 so by doing the calculation we will get 10 into root 8 by 5 into cos of 2t plus 26.57 this is the signal of output that is c of t so this is the signal of c of t signal of CFT. So, this is the procedure to do any problem given in this model. So, simple thing, whenever we are applying the sinusoidal input to the LTA system, then we will get the sinusoidal output. But we will get the magnitude will be multiplied with the factor m and phase is added with the factor phi m. m equal the magnitude of transfer function with frequency equal input frequency phi m equal phase of the transfer function with frequency equal input frequency this is the procedure to do any sinusoidal response of the LTI system i hope all of you understand the session thank you